634 this morning, and the Iowa caucuses are now over, and it's your voice, your vote here on KSFY. Now, Tuesday morning, quarterbacking begins. And throughout the weekend, KSFY News reporter Brian Allen has been on the campaign tail, trail with the top Republican and Democratic candidates. And he continues our coverage this morning from Des Moines. So voters in Iowa have spoken and the caucus is now over. On the Republican side, it is Cruz Trump Rubio 1-2-3. On the Democratic side, a fight just too close versus Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders. So the question now is what happens next? On the Democratic side of things, the razor-thin margin between Clinton and Sanders may hurt Clinton. KSFY political analyst Jeff Stein. I don't know how Hillary's campaign spins that other than to say, first of all, she lost here in 08, it's not fertile ground for her, and to say that more than 40% of Iowa Democrats self-identify with being socialist. She just has to write it off and say South Carolina will be a better day. On the Republican side, what to make of Donald Trump's second place showing? Drake University political scientist Gail Alberta says Trump fell short of expectations but Ted Cruz did not. Cruz had an excellent ground game, so it's not surprising he came in first. Um, he really pushed to have his voters churn out to the caucus and participate in the caucus. And Alberta says the real story of the night, in her opinion, involves Marco Rubio. And he came in not only third, but a strong third, and that's going to put him in a good spot going into New Hampshire. So what should we keep an eye on over the next week? Alberta says watch for Clinton and Sanders to go on the attack. And right now it is a fight. It's a fight between them. And while at the end of the day they're all Democrats, right now they're, you know, they're on opposite sides of the table. While Jeff Stein says watch and see if Sanders and Donald Trump continue to pull new voters into the process. We are really at a unique point in American society with so many people who don't want to claim either party affiliation and who are dissatisfied with the status quo in Washington. The next big challenge comes one week from today when all the candidates head way out east for the primary in New Hampshire. Reporting in Des Moines, Iowa, Brian Allen, KSFY News.